Being a new parent can often be a time of wonder and enjoyment, but that can easily slip away when your baby has a temper tantrum. So what do you do when the little one gets upset and how can you avoid outbursts in the first place? November's edition of American Baby Magazine has some advice on how you can help your baby through life's little frustrations. And right now we're joined by Kate Kelly, Managing Editor of American Baby. Good morning. Good morning. It's not fun when they throw a tantrum. Especially when it's before you're expecting it. Everyone's waiting for the terrible twos, but then when your one-year-old or your 18-month-old just loses it, you can really be caught short. And what happens when they're too young to really vo vocalize why they're upset and they just start throwing the fists on the floor and all that? Yeah, that's the tough thing because from a baby's point of view, he knows what he wants and he can't make himself understood. And what could be more frustrating than that? So a lot of times these early tantrums are over not being able to convey what it is they want. So if you teach them some rudimentary form of sign language okay. so that they can say when they want milk or they want to get down, it could just be you know something really basic. You don't have to do like a formal program. You could just make up your own signs and then that can really ease a lot of frustration. All right. Um, what about uh, your own behavior because one of your bits of advice is keep your own behavior in check. Well yeah I mean it's so easy as a parent you think that nobody's really noticing what you're doing but if you tell the baby you can't run around with a bottle and then you're snacking in front of the TV then what messages he's getting and you want your baby to not get angry but then you you know curse at somebody who cuts in front of you you know in the parking lot you know it's all being taken in and they do what you do not what you say. When you're talking to your baby or, and it, trying to get them to do what you want, are you supposed to tell them, this is what's going to happen, or do you give them choices? Well, it kind of depends. Um, giving simple choices can make life less frustrating, okay. like because it gives him the illusion that he has control. And a lot of things, these are over control. Babies don't have any control. <laughs> so, um, so if instead of saying, no, you can't do this, you can say, oh, do you want to have this or this before you go to bed? And then they've lost track of the fact that they weren't getting the first thing that they wanted. How important is your reaction to their good behavior versus their bad behavior? Well, remember that kids are looking for attention. And even negative attention is still attention. So if you scream every time they do something bad, well, that's attention. And if the only time you're really giving them a reaction is to their negative behavior, they're going to keep doing that. So if you want them to do more good things, then you've got to praise and reward their good behavior and let the bad behavior, if you can, just ignore it because then they'll see it's not going to get a reaction out of you. When you're really, when they're really young and they're listening to you, are they really understanding what you're saying or is it just sort of blah, 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 blah? Yeah, they're not really taking in a lot and especially if they're angry, long explanations about why they can or can't do this or that just goes right over their head. It's way more effective to just keep your sentences short, you know, get down to their level, look them in the eye and just Act, your actions are going to say a lot more than your words at this point. You know, you can move them, you can go outside, do something different, but sitting there giving them a lecture isn't going to help. All right, good advice. Kate Kelly from American Baby Magazine, thanks so much. Thank you.